how do you perceive Brock Purdy and Kyle Shanahan's relationship? Fresh. They're in the honeymoon stage, for sure. Yep. Um, <laughs> Instant chemistry, <laughs> like love at first sight, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Playing footsie under the meeting table, all, all that. that. They, yeah. they, um, one of the things that I feel like Brock Purdy does for Kyle is that it vindicates him. I think Kyle yeah. knows – I think Kyle knows how he's seen offensively as being um, um, a little bit stale, overbearing, um, controlling in a sense, um, how he calls games. And I think that Brock Purdy is almost a vindication um, to Kyle putting a lot of good football on the field. Um, yeah. I think that uh, watching Jimmy, the frustration with Jimmy isn't the physical traits. I'd take Jimmy's skill set. I would. Um, yeah. Quick. Quick feet. Um, he has a quick release. He's got a good ball. Jimmy is very accurate, immediate thrower, um, likable leader, all of that stuff. But Jimmy doesn't process. He does not see the field. And I'm not talking about see the field from a standpoint of op of seeing the open man, but mm -hmm. I'm talking about seeing the field from a standpoint of longitude and latitude, east and west, and being able to understand reads so one of the things that i know that kyle shanahan does is that he never creates a play without options off of it and yeah. it's almost disrespectful to say that there a play has one option yeah. to a play caller yeah. to somebody who really takes that as um i'm a skill it's almost a smack in the face to almost it's like telling the carpenter that he has a bad foundation he has shoddy work it's like well mm -hmm. wait a minute um and with that um, a lot of times when you can look at how Jimmy operated the office, it can seem really one read. It can seem um, anemic. And I feel like Brock is actually looking at everybody. Um, I feel like there's another point that you made um, that actually piggybacks on this is that Brock has actually had to tell people to finish routes. Um, he's actually had to tell people to actually run routes hard because – go ahead. One more thing. Uh, someone said, I forget who said it. Who said it? I think it was Ray Ray. If you're on the backside of the play, you got to run your routes because you might get the ball. Uh, if Jimmy was a quarterback, that wasn't the case. Sorry to interrupt you. Keep going. It's not the case. Yeah, that's not the case at but all. But that's a and big I, distinction. That's a huge distinction. That is a huge distinction. Not only is that a huge distinction, but something else that Kyle said um, in the media is that he said, you don't have to call. The difference between calling plays with Brock is that you don't have to call plays um, with a play in mind, you can just call the play with the right concept in mind, mm -hmm. knowing that not only am I going in, and that speaks to a conversation, you know, you can't really have a conversation through words as much as you want to. There's a lot of stuff that you got to get through the headset, but there is a conversation where you can speak through football of giving somebody something where I don't think Jimmy has gotten a play and understood what Kyle is trying to do next. Mm -hmm. I think that Jimmy is like, uh, like, you know, like a fish, like a 30 second memory. Like, this is the play. This is who I'm trying to get open right now yeah. on to the next. Yeah. I see Brock and, and that's a lot yeah. for Brock and Brock is, Brock is a great processor, but he's not a phenomenal processor. He's just better than Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me tell you what I see with this relationship. To this relationship to me, Brock is exactly what Kyle wants in a quarterback in terms of not necessarily the skill set, but the demeanor and like the, the the personality he's a grinder he's not necessarily tr a pretty boy although i'm not saying he's ugly or anything but he's not necessarily like it doesn't seem like celebrity status is what he's after he seems like he's really into football and he's kind of like nerdy about it because that's kyle that's kyle right i mean uh -huh. he's not a bachelor he's not famous he has a wife and kids and he's dedicated to football and i think he just wants someone that's like that with him and jimmy not like that I mean, Jimmy's a bit of a pretty well, boy. As soon as he got money, he, he was out and doing stuff. Even Trey. Trey was like, as soon as he got money and some status, is like, man, what are you doing, man? Brock, at least right. True. I hate that that's true, right? But I mean, I look, if, if, but if, if I were in that situation, I'd be like that too. Are you kidding? I would be on Team Jimmy and Trey. It, it's rare to have someone in the, the, as a quarterback of the Niners to not feel the status in, of it. In and, some you know, ways, yeah. though, in some ways, Grant, I feel like Brock is gonna Brock is gonna raise the floor for for Trey in Agreed. a lot of those areas. Agree, agree. I think that it's gonna yeah, get agree. it's gonna kind of look ridiculous for Trey to be going to Vegas when 
Brock is having Bible study in his one bedroom apartment. That's right. That's, that's not right. gonna come, that's right. come off his. And you want to take the job? If you want to win the job, secure it from him. Well, you got to outdo him in He's all these other ways. The too. And again, when they brought in Trey, that's what they thought his makeup was. But I think they didn't understand. A hey, twenty one year old sheltered kid from freaking the middle of nowhere comes to California, and gets a lot of money. Like, hey, it's only natural that that's gonna be he like a heady experience. I don't I, I, I want to push back on that. I want to push okay. back on that. Okay. And the reason okay. why I want to push back on that is because um, the same reason why I feel like all of these guys are propping up Brock. Um, that's a very mature football team. Um, yeah. Very mature yeah. football team. And yeah. when you're a guy like Trey and you want to be liked, right? At the same yeah. time, you want to be ingratiated into the locker room. Yeah, you kind of do as the Romans do. That's true. You know? Um, oh, you're going to and, Vegas? All right, I'll go to Vegas. I'll go to Vegas. I mean, yeah, who am I to say that's that? You know, that's a good point. And good point. and to be honest, I I feel like one of the things that Brock has that Trey doesn't have is that Trey was trying to be ingratiated on this team with Jimmy breathing down his neck. It's true. Brock gets to be ingratiated to this team with when neither Jimmy of them there. Both of them are gone. The picture. You see Both what I'm of saying? them. Yep, that's a great right. point. That's a so, great point. So now, anyway, I, I took I'm, this conversation to the left. What I want to say is, I just feel like Brock and Kyle are, you know, you, you, you mentioned at the beginning, it's like love and first sight. They have the same temperament, and I'm sure they can look at each other and just be like, "It's it, we click." Unheralded we just guys, click. Yeah. yeah, who really yes. God family football. You know, we uh, we we we're we're more they speak smart the same and, language. Yep, we have more to give this game with our minds than we do with our bodies. So we belong yeah. to be here. I know yeah. the, the the manifesto of the unlatic, yeah. unathletic white kid. I get it. I mean, um, it's the same reason he liked Kirk Cousins. But, yeah. you know, times 100. Tryhards. Um, yeah, he's a tryhard. Yeah. He's a tryhard. Um, yeah. uh, I I think um, I think their relationship is good, but don't... Kyle, one of the things that I do like about him is that he is cold-hearted. Um, he does... One of the things that players love to say is he's very honest. He's open. He keeps he's it real. Keep it he real keeps it real. You. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He keeps yeah. it real, and that basically yeah. means that basically means that he's I, an asshole. I'm gonna get you paid. I'm gonna get you paid, or I'm not gonna get you paid. That's yeah. what keeps you. Keep He'll it keep real. it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Like you do this, I get you paid. If you don't do mm -hmm. this, you will not You're get out. paid. That's yep. Right. Because yep. players, yep. at the end of the day, they could give two day two shits about winning. It's about their contract. Right. You know who came in and handled Trent Williams' situation. Right. Kyle. Kyle. Like, you know thank you saying? for the rah-rah speech, but how are you getting me paid? This is the professionals. Yeah, thank you. Right, which, which is why he's so well-liked in that locker room. Um, yeah, because he, is he got Kittle paid. He got Debo paid. He got all these guys paid. And I, it, you could argue hey, maybe if Kittle was on another team, he wouldn't have not necessarily gotten the looks that he got. Did you hear yesterday, I mean, Kyle? Someone, someone asked Kyle about Kittle and, and uh, Purdy's relationship. And, like, like why, why is he doing so well? And Kyle, like... <laughs> He's like, well, he's gotten some really good looks recently. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're like, yourself, just, man. <laughs> I, just, I just don't. I just don't think that. I don't think George understands that. No matter how gregarious and outspoken you are, you're still the tight end. True. You're and still. And that's the what tight I think. End. I think that Kyle, Kyle's like, dude, can you stop? Like, can you stop? You're still I think the that's tight a little bit. Of, yeah, it's how go I feel. block. Yeah, go block. All right, next one. Hold on, real quick. Official Vin go block. Who's your favorite team, Grant? I'm a big UCLA Bruin fan, although it's mm -hmm. kind of weird that I went from saying the Niners should fire Chip Kelly after one year to paying money to root for his team. I actually went and watched uh, him play Cal with my wife. We paid money to that? sit there. It was a great time. I like going to uh, to Cal games. That uh, stadium up in Berkeley is I like that freaking QB. nice. Who, DCR? Um, yep. Me too. I think the Niners should draft him if he's around in, in, in uh, round seven. That's Why not? He's a four-year starter, kind of like Brock. He's really athletic, hell of an arm, accurate. I mean, I like DTR. I like him. But I, I like Jake Hayner. Oh, yeah. He's like 77. No, I'm just kidding.